guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make dinga. I'm going to start off with boiling five tomatoes and just a slice or a piece of this onion. I'm going to put it to a boil and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. All right, to begin I put um, some water to boil so then I started putting the tomatoes in there. I put a total of five and then I'm going to cut the onion. I think I cut about maybe a fourth of the onion and then I stuck it in the water so that it can boil together with the tomatoes. All right, and as you can tell, I cut off a little piece. I'm, I'm gonna say it's a fourth. I'm gonna cut it in half and I'm gonna put it in the water so it could boil with the tomatoes. Okay, so now I'm gonna slice up this onion so that I can uh, saute it here in a little bit and I'll show you how I do that. Alrighty, I sliced up all, this, all the onion. I only did half of that onion. I'm waiting for the tomatoes and the onion to boil. Also, the chicken is starting to come up to a boil um, and finishing up. In the back, you can see that I'm also gonna be making a salsa and I can show you here in a little bit how I make that salsa. Okay, so the chicken is done. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna put it in this lovely dish. Uh, there's a total of six uh, chicken breasts, but I'm only going to be using three chicken breasts for this recipe. Um, you can use the other chicken breasts for like something else the following day or whatever. Um, but I'm gonna show you here real quick how I shred up my chicken. I use two forks and I just pull it apart. I ended up only using half of the shredded chicken, which was only the three chicken breasts. And uh, it looks like this. Alrighty, now the tomato and the onion were done boiling, so I'm going to put them in the blender. I'm going to be adding the chipotle peppers. You can use any type of brand that you wish. I wanted to get this one, whatever, is what the, that's probably what they had at the store. Um, I'm going to be using a total of four uh, peppers, but if you want to add more or less, it's up to you. It, it's, I'm going to say it was m a mild um, kick. It wasn't too spicy. It was really good. Okay, so now I used a little bit of the chicken broth that um, was from the chicken that I had boiled. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, and then I've also added a little bit of garlic salt. Alrighty, now it's time to blend, so I'm going to blend, blend, blend. The next step is I'm going to um, heat up a little bit of oil and I'm going to be putting the onions that I sliced up earlier um, in to saute. Um, after they saute a little bit, I'm going to add the chipotle sauce that I just made. Okay, so the onions have sauteed and now it's time for me to add the chipotle sauce and I'm just going to bring it up to a boil. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made the salsa. All right, I don't actually remember how many uh, jalapenos I put in there, but I'm going to say it was maybe like five or six. I put some tomatillos, I put some onion, I put some garlic powder, salt, and I blended it up. Uh, it was a bit spicy. The jalapenos were actually from Colorado, so it was kind of spicy. Okay, so the chipotle sauce has come up to a boil. Um, it's time for me to add the chicken. So again, I've only added half of the shredded chicken that I made, which was the three chicken uh, breast. And I'm also going to be adding three more uh, chipotle peppers. I'm adding them just for look because I've already... The reason I'm adding them is because I've made the chipotle sauce with the chipotle. So, you know, I mean, you're supposed to throw them in. Although, it does make it a little bit spicier because it's, of course, it's in the tinga, which is uh, boiling and it's going to be adding just a little bit more of a kick. Not too much, but, I mean, it's 
it's whatever you want to do. If you want to add them, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. Uh, I like to do it, so I did it again. So now I'm going to be covering it up, letting it boil for a little bit. Okay, so I didn't show you what the salsa looked uh, look like. Uh, this is what it came out. Again, it kind of was a little spicy, not too much, but that's just the way I like it. If you want to make a green salsa or a different type of salsa, that's up to you. But these are the kind of jalapenos I had on hand, so that's what I made. Again, these jalapenos came from Colorado, so they were very spicy. Okay, so the thing got boiled, so I'm going to let it sit for a little bit before I get some. I cut up some lettuce. I cut up some queso fresco, which I'm going to be shredding up so I could top it. You're also going to be needing some tostadas and some sour cream. The first thing I'm going to do... Wait, hold on. Is that Nicholas down there? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be getting my tostada. I'm going to be topping it with... Um, some sour cream. Uh, some people like to put beans, you know, refried beans and uh, put them first, but I like to put the sour cream. And then I'm going to get some tinga and I'm going to put it on top. And then I'm going to put some lettuce and some of the crumbled up uh, queso fresco that I crumbled up. And then uh, to top it off, I'm going to put some of the salsa that I made. <laughs> 